Praise Lord Jesus from wherever you are tuning in from. So today we have an amazing, amazing video. So for a minute or just for a while, we've been having a lot of attacks, especially on prophets, where it has been, uh, we've seen apostles attacking prophets. We've seen prophets versus prophets. We've also seen uh, people of the world attacking prophets and even just Christians attacking prophets. So there has been a lot of battles against prophets and the big question is why is that so why are they just uh, attacking prophets what does that prophetic office really hold that the devil is really against or the devil is really trying to fight so before we get into that that is what this video is going to cover but before we get into that also in this video i'll be able to play for you a segment uh, of Prophet Lovi, where he's speaking about Gino Jennings. So he didn't mention really Gino Jennings, but there's a part where he's giving a certain description. And according to me and what has been happening currently, I perceive that he's talking about Gino Jennings. So before you get to that, you, you let me know what you think on that. And also, there's another part where now he mentions Joshua Selman and the words that he has to say about him amazing words so that one you have to look out for that and watch out that for that because that one is also amazing so in this teaching prophet lovi was actually basically uh preaching about the prophetic office and speaking about uh there's been a lot of attack especially on the prophetic and that is very true prophets are being attacked left right and center so uh he gave he gave some of the some some actually some highlights Number one, he said that no, prof uh, no prophetic, no direction. Like from the prophetic office, that's where we get direction. Number two, he said, the prophetic comes to introduce a new move of God many have not seen. And you see, the devil does not know everything. Actually, that is amazing just to know that the devil has, doesn't know everything. Even the devil is on the lookout. He's just looking out for the prophetic, like what is really about to happen before now the devil sets and makes his move so the devil knows if you listen to a prophet you will know god's next move so before i get on to get ahead with the rest of the highlight points he gave there's a scripture in the book of amos 3 7 so the scripture says surely the lord god will no, will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets so another version says uh that is Amos 3 7 says, Before the Lord God does anything, he tells his plans to his servants, the prophets. Wow. So that scripture is actually an eye opener. It shows you uh, the key, shows you the importance of the prophetic office. Number three, it says, Without the prophetic ministry, there is no preservation. So, as we all know, uh, protect, there's protection and then there's preservation. Just the white, as the white man always say that prevention is better than cure. So with that prophetic office, we are able to get a preservation. You see, we are able to get this pre prevention where now you don't have to fall in trouble for that now a man of God to come and rescue you. But you see, with a prophetic office, the man of God is able to lead you and direct you and tell you, hey, don't take that route. Take a different route. So that, is a, that ministry serves also for preservation. So, uh, number four, prophetic gives insight. Insight gives you strategy to pray. So, through that office, we get a lot of insight and also foresight, which is point number five. Understanding the signs of the times, ability to discern. That is now where foresight comes in. And you know, discernment, discernment is actually very, very important for a child of God. We'll do a later episode where we can get in depth just to understand discernment but discernment is one of the key things because through discernment you are able to understand the people that you you can you should or you can hang out with through discernment you are able to understand what god requires you to do right now uh, according to the calendar that you're in through discernment you are able to understand even the business that you're operating the people that you're working with are they the right people are they the not the right people so discernment is actually quite amazing so number six which is the final one is Without the prophetic, things don't change. Wow. Without the prophetic, things don't change. Because there are things are 
that are apart from praying jesus said that when you speak speak to the mountains we've seen jesus when he was uh, actually sleeping on the boat and the disciples came to wake him up at the storm what jesus did he stood up and then he spoke to the storm and it calmed down he we didn't see him pray but he just spoke so there are situations in life where you need the prophetic where you need words uh, prophetic words where you speak to them you speak to those words and you see those circumstances uh you get the change that you want to see so let's get in the video that is actually just the highlight of uh, the teaching that was going on just for you to understand that and then now let's get in the video and have a look at this i've seen some of them <laughs> i wouldn't mention names one who acts super righteous there was a video somebody sent me that he was being beaten by demons <laughs> Couldn't cast out a demon out of, of a particular person. And the demon was actually beating the person. That they had to take the person away. But you have the audacity to talk about people who could deliver thousands of people in a second. Mm -hmm. Now this person wasn't speaking about me, but I'm just telling you in general. Wow. So actually that is the part that I was saying, uh, Actually, that is the part that I was saying that he was speaking about Gino Jennings. There's a video I did. It's not a long time ago. It's just the other day where Gino Jennings was actually, uh, where Gino Jennings was actually had an encounter in his church with with a demon. So he was he was trying to cast out the demon from this person, and it became uh, very hard. So if you've not watched that video, just go check my previous video. I did that video. So that is the point that I perceive that he's speaking about Gino Jennings. You can let me know what you think about that. Uh, but that is just my own opinion. That's what I think. I think he's speaking about Gino Jennings. He didn't mention, but I think the way he said it, the way he's describing it, according to me, I think he's speaking about Gino Jennings. You can let me know what you think on the comment section. So this is now the segment that he's speaking about Joshua Selman. Don't miss the wave of God's doing. The prophetic brings prosperity. The prophetic does not only bring deliverance, but it ensures yes. deliverance. Thank you, Lord. The prophetic does not only bring deliverance, but it ensures deliverance. I don't struggle with demons. Look for a demon, uh, look for, uh, what is it called? A video and show. We don't struggle. So many times they actually irritate me. Don't waste my time. This is why each and every one of you must make it your mission to be in a prophetic atmosphere. Uh. And I want you to know this. I'm just going to throw this out there. An apostle cannot make you a prophet because the apostle needs a prophet. I don't know where this idea of apostles, mentor prophets came from. It's not biblical. <laughs> Maybe prophetic people, actually prophetic people may need an apostle. But many of them think the apostolic is the one that is. No, prophets are the father of all ministries. He did not say the apostolic is the spirit or the testimony of Jesus. <laughs> Open your ears. He did not say the pastoral is the spirit of Jesus. The Bible declares the God of the spirits of the prophets, not the God of the spirits of the apostles. This is why the church is always trying to demean prophets because they don't understand that without the prophetic you don't have this Bible. And it's not glorification, it's order. Thank you. <laughs> protocol and order. It is protocol and order of the way God does things. If you don't like it, take it up with Jesus. I am not saying apostles can't function in the prophetic. I know one great man of God. I know one great man of God. 
He calls himself Apostle Johnson Suleiman. But mm -hmm. I know Apostle, Apostle Johnson Suleiman is actually not an apostle. He's actually a prophet. <laughs> he says apostle, but we all know this is a prophet. Even him himself, you say, you know, a prophet, a prophet, because he's actually a prophet. He may be functioning apostolically, but he's actually a prophet. One of the greatest men of God I know. But hear me, hear me by the Spirit of God. Hear me by the Spirit of God. Don't let anybody deceive you in 2024 yeah. to undermine the prophetic that is designed to help you. Amen. Wow. Wow. But don't let anyone deceive you this year to undermine the prophetic that is going to help you. So all these documentaries that are coming in, trying to expose prophets, trying to do this uh, X, Y, Z. Some of these things are just schemes and ways of the devil just to undermine the prophetic office. And just from the highlights that I've given you, just to show you the importance of the office and You've heard what uh, Prophet Lovi has mentioned and said that the prophetic is also, uh, it's like the mother of uh, the mother office of all other arms of ministry. So, so the prophetic is a very important office and we need the prophetic office. And, not, and, lest, and, and let us not forget as well that uh, as a Christian, we are called to prophecy as well. Bible says you speak, speak, and Bible says that you shall receive. So we are prophets as well. We prophesy our journey. We prophesy the life that we want to see. We prophesy uh, 2024, how we want it to be. You can be the prophet of your own life. It's not a, it's not a must for you to, to I'm not saying that, uh, I'm, I, in all due respect, but I'm not saying that it's a must for you to go and search now in your local in your place of, of uh, residence, you're going to look for a prophet. Where is a prophet so that you can have the move of God? No, no, you can be the prophet of your own life. That office is available for all Christians as well. Yes, there is now the, the authority to the authority level, but now the protocol one to the authority level. But you see, mm -hmm. the prophetic office is available for all Christians. If you study your Bible, if you... If you get to understand who the new creation is, you will understand that that is actually part of the package. But uh, I love the I love the the way he has spoken about Joshua Selman. That is quite amazing because he's he's an amazing man of God, full of uh, great thoughts and uh, great words, and uh, he's actually very very amazing. So I, I also love the love that is always in Prophet Lovi. He, he demonstrates a lot of love. So and that is actually quite amazing. So that is how we should be as Christians, demonstrating love even to those who are stoning us, to those who are attacking us, to those who are exposing us. We will always demonstrate love because the Bible says that he who does not uh, know love because God is love. Basically, God is love. So if we are children of God, definitely we are sons of love as well. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section. If you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, you can write in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. Just hit that like button. And uh, see you on the next video.